Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Z, and today we are continuing our Greater United States of America campaign in Victoria 3. Greater because we are not simply just the United States of America anymore. We have extra states in the continent of North America, down into Mexico, north into Canada. We are missing Washington and Oregon and part of Idaho as well, but that is fine. We will get them eventually. Last time, <laughs> we fought a brutal and bloody war uh, for Sokoto. It was absolutely brutal, a war for Sokoto. Huge attrition for our armies, but eventually we managed to uh, beat them back. And uh, Britain and Denmark as well. And so as soon as the war ended, Britain decided that Denmark's help in that war was not appreciated. <laughs> so they pretty much straight away decided to declare war on Denmark, which is quite hilarious, really, when you think about it. <laughs> Britain uh, betraying their former allies. Who would have guessed it? Who would have guessed it, guys? But anyway, without further ado, guys, let's get going. Our infamy is still quite high, 36 so we're going to uh, uh, leave conquest for a little bit and just try and build on our economy and keep on colonizing as best as we can. Now, I believe, do we have any spare interest? No, we've got four, maximum of four. Uh, we've kind of taken everything we can out of the interests we can. Oh, well, now we have no progress over here. So where are our extra interests that we don't really need? Grand Colombia, yeah, we don't need an interest in Grand Colombia right now, or potentially the Caribbean either. So I'm thinking we go for an interest in here. Let's have a look at our colonies first. It's going to take a while for us to colonize all the way through there. Same thing over this side. Let's have a look. No, it's going to take us ages to get across that way. So we need to make sure that we keep a maintained interest over here. And I think the second one, yeah. I don't think we're going to get up to there. So, I mean, here or here would be the next interest we want to look at. And, I mean, France is going to dominate this side, the eastern side. So, I'm thinking... Let's go for there. Let's, let's just go for there. We can also look at puppeting Madagascar at some point as well. So, we took... The rubber mystication, aniline synthetic plants and art silk. We can also do vulcanization, elastics for textile mills, bicycle messengers, automatic bottle blowers, conveyors, <laughs> uh, shift work leads to telephone technology. What does that bring us? Electrics industries and radios. I mean, electrical generation would be good. A combustion engine would also be fantastic. Uh, but, I mean, pneumatic tools. It's eight years. I know it's a long time, guys. But I'm going to I'm gonna go for it anyway. Now, let's have a look for our rubber plantations. We should have access to them now. There we are. Uh, the only place we can build them is American Gambia. And we can only build three currently. But we will queue those up anyway. Let's get our rubber production. And I really want to shift. So very much our economy has been reactionary right now. It has been reactionary for quite a while. We've been reacting to the changes of the world and the changes of the market. And I want to start with our newfound huge amount of building capacity. I want to start being proactive with our building. But, of fir but first of all, of course, we do need to react to some of our shortages. There are input goods shortages in explosives. Um, so, yeah, we are building those explosive plants, but it's going to be a while until we get to that point. They're towards the end of here, but we will build the food industries first. Uh, groceries are still over, um, over ordered. Again, sell orders. So we do need more groceries. Definitely. And then we need more explosives. We only have three explosive plants in the whole country right now. So getting some more ex uh, explosives would be great. Also, fruit. Did I not queue any fruit? I thought I did. We're getting the livestock for the meat. Then logging for wood. Iron. And then chemical plants for the explosives. Glassworks. 
Statue of Liberty. No, we did not actually queue any fruit. And as you can see, with this newfound construction capability, we really do have a lot of capacity. We can build huge amounts very quickly, uh, which is fantastic. I'm thinking Guinea. Let's get that up to 20, I'll say. I know that seems like an obscene amount, but we'll get immigration in there to, to fulfill the spaces. Some of the peasants, excuse me, from outside of that area will move in, which will be great, hopefully, from other areas. So that's that state there. So hopefully from the Windward Coast, if we look, some of those peasants will move across. Same thing with Gambia and even some of these other ones, Mauritania, etc. Uh, our colonization keeps on going. Okay, Bobangi. Bobangi, where are you? This one. That's actually great. That is really, 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 really good. Um, get you guys there. I'm also going to get one of these just small armies. So that's these guys. That, that does increase our infamy. Of course, other countries might join. Um, well, I hope not for a native uprising. We shall see. We shall see. Doesn't look like anyone's interested right now. And Britain is at war already, which is great for us. Rubber has been discovered in Kenya. That is over here. France. Okay, human rights. That's good. Can-do attitude. What's this? Soldiers are complaining that they have no way to open their canned food. Develop away. Let's, let's develop the can opener. <laughs> okay, as long as no one joins, I'm very happy. Can't add any more war goals. Because this will just take uh, this whole area. And then, if I'm not mistaken, we can carry on. We can carry on colonizing south. Kind of try and cut Portugal off. I mean, the most important thing for me right now is cutting France off. But it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do that. They, they do colonize so slowly, though, that the only thing that I can really hope... Is that either we get um, a native uprising in Herero. That would be fantastic. Have we got not got our armies here yet? Six days. That'll be fine. 31 million now our population. Pretty decent. Our literacy does keep going down because of the places that we uh, conquer. But that is fine. It will start building back up again. Mm. Let's just have a sip. Of a lovely mocha. Very nice. I do not drink a lot of tea uh, for a British person, to be honest. Uh, lots of coffee instead. Peace treaty. Okay. Okay, France has managed to puppet Benin then. Wait. Wait. Did they? No! No! France has lost two wars against the African natives already in the last few years. They lost against Kong. Kong actually took more land, I think, off them. And then they've just lost against Benin. <laughs> Fantastic. Glorious. Because we do want to take this region as our own. I, I, I honestly want to conquer those states myself. War with Babangi has uh, broken out. There's no one else in involved, was there? No. Let's carry on then. And... Uh, Attack and take this region for our own. You can see this is what we did with France over here. We boxed them in. And I'm hoping we can do the same thing over this region. But very much doesn't look like that's going to happen. They're, they're too focused over the right-hand side. I wish you could choose where they would colonize first. Um, because I want to border with uh, Ovimbundu as well. Swana. Okay, we're going to basically take this region as well. So... Where did I declare my interest? Because would actually I mean we already have a declared interest in South Africa, so we can colonize the whole way across. Um good. Good. I'm I'm happy with all these these firing. The only problem is with our high infamy at the moment, it's not unlikely that uh, a colonial power will decide that they are going to uh, have a bit of a fight on the opposition side. As long as everyone declares neutrality, though, we'll be absolutely fine. I mean, we're going to just smash through Babangi uh, very quickly. Well, we should do, anyway. And then we probably will be able to start colonizing Bangala. 
This region, then, looks very much to be dominated by us. Let's see that the Portuguese are still colonizing. So are the French over here. They're colonizing hee hee. Very good. Uh, but, yeah, that's fine. How are these battles going? 59 defense, bro. That's obscene. That's some good defense. Well done, Babangi. Oh, uh, Makolo Bomboko. That is a cool name. I do like that name indeed. Now let's have a look at uh, improving our relations. I'm thinking Britain again. We just want to be cordial with all these these big old world people. Hide our disdain for them uh, behind closed doors and, and pretend to like them. Yes, Britain, we do like you. You're nice, aren't you? You're you're a good nation. Well done. And secretly behind closed doors, plot to destroy them. Um, yeah, Sokoto, of course, helps us out. So I, I'm wondering, is uh, oh, we've taken that area anyway? Uh, so now all these uh, all these armies are on the way. Twenty days, but by that time, war will have broken out, and we're going to take this region for free. The uh, yeah, the native uprisings are very, very powerful for you to trigger them. So, as quick as you can trigger them, the better. <laughs> it's just annoying that it increases your infamy. But we are starting to tick down. So, I'm hoping we get below, below 30 at the end of this year. And that people will be less likely to join wars then. Come on. I don't like this new scroll over mechanic for this. We're actually going to lose this battle. We do now have our bigger armies on the way, so that's fine. Uh, Babangi should also uh, capitulate soon. There are some very good nations around here to take. So Ashanti, for example, 600,000 population. Decent building options in here as well uh, as our iron mines start getting built. So a lot of these nations are very, very good places to take. Babangi is now taken, so you can now see that the Congo, we have a lot of land over there. Let's, uh, yeah, and now that's just opened the door for colonization on the inner, uh, I guess that's the northern Congo Delta, isn't it? Congo Rainforest. Uh, and then we have the Great Lakes over here, the Great Lakes of Africa. Uh, yeah, we see the Congo river wait it's hard to see there we are oh is that the yeah yeah so we are that's the northern congo delta there that we're starting to take i believe i could be wrong there but i i i'm pretty sure i'm i'm generally decent with geography if I, if something's been shown to me once with geography i tend to remember it but um you know it's a long time since uh, I studied the DRC in history in school. So, we are continuing our Papua expansion over here as well. So, we do now have a bit of a foothold in Asia, along with Portugal and the Dutch East Indies. But it actually looks to me that since the start of the game, the Dutch East Indies have actually fallen apart a bit. Because I think, thinking back to my Dutch gameplay, do they not have all of these as little puppets at the start. I, I don't know. But we also see that Britain has part of China. And that is something that we really, really do want to have a look at. Especially seeing as we are now multicultural. Because it allows us to build silk plantation plantations down here. 20 silk plantations. Uh, and we actually have no way of building silk at all at the minute. Um, let's have a look. Is there anywhere else we can build rubber? No. So we've just built a load of iron mines. That should really help with our iron production. So we're still 113 off, but we are getting mines built all the time. How much do they make? Um, it makes 40 a level, so it's not even that much. Uh, but this should just balance it out. So this is what I'm talking about being proactive. Rather than being re reactive and building to a level where it equals... We should really be building more so that we have a surplus, so that we've got more for later, so we don't need to worry about it for as long. We're also lacking tobacco now. And fish and tools has become a big issue. 
Tools are very important. That is a really, really important thing. So, if I can speak, I nearly... I didn't even know what I said there. I was like, really, really important thing, guys. So, uh, yeah. Comic book guy from Simpsons came out for a little bit. But, yeah. We're going to build a lot of tooling workshops as well. And... Uh, that was, again, reactive, as you can see. But with our construction speed right now, we are we are just building so quickly. These chemical plants are going to do a huge amount for our explosives industry. We should be able to export quite a lot of explosives as we go on. We're also building fertilizer, which will help with our farming. Now, where are the explosives? There they are. We no longer have a uh, market shortage, which is good. But we still are on a 121 deficit. Peace deal with these guys. Yeah, they've just accepted. We just taken it. Ah, look at that. Look at America go, bro. Look at America go. Wow. We are expanding like absolute crazy in Africa right now. And the good thing is, because we're multiculturalism, all these people we keep uh, keep colonizing, I guess, at least they'll be accepted into our nation. Oh my god, the peasants in this land are starving. So this is also a big part of our standard of living keep going up and down. It basically, as we're taking over these places, we're taking over places that are very impoverished. And then we're trying to try and build them back up. So you see with the standard of living, it goes down when we get it, uh, when we take a lot of places. And then uh, goes up once we've stayed stable for a little bit. They're still starving. Now they're struggling. So it's instantly improved with us here. Now let's have a look. Low market access. Nevada's low market access. It's just because they can't hire anyone for their railroads Baiho is actually low market access as well. So I'm going to build two railways. Uh, we got inefficient taxation anyway. Input goods. Silk. Uh, that's fine. New York is in turmoil. Really? Hmm. A radical population in... So we've just... Just got under again, so we need another railway in New York. God damn it, bro. I'm actually going to build, like, three. Be proactive, like we talked about. <laughs> Get that infrastructure in there. Now, the best thing for us right now would be if Herrero decided that they wanted to rebel against us. Yeah, we're still 25 uh, infamy, which is fine. You can see how quickly we are colonizing. It's crazy. Niger Delta gets rubber. That's going to be massive. Um, and look, 21 in the Niger Delta. I'm going to build 10. American Eastern New Guinea as well. Which is over here. No, that's American Gambia. Wait, no, this is Eastern New Guinea. Is this it? Oh, interesting. I'm probably going to build five there as well, just to get rid of all the peasants uh, in that area. That'll be fine. And building-wise, we've nearly finished all our chemical plants. We're now on to glassworks. And then the Statue of Liberty as well, which takes 30 weeks. So not even too bad. Even though it was a gift by France, right? Then clothes is going to be the next. No, grain first. Grain, coal, and tools. Are we building more coal mines? I believe we are somewhere along here. No, we are not. So we're going to go... Priority-wise, let's... Take a look. Priority wise, clothes and grain are the most. Are we still have a massive. Yeah, we're still making so much fabric. Silk's a problem. Very close on the explosives now. Only minus 100. Should have built probably a few more then. I'm thinking more chemical plants. Ohio. Build. Let's put that to 11. So we build 10, uh, 11 more. So it was clothes and grain that was a big issue. I like the fact that that includes wine. So let's go for that. Wow, Ohio just has a huge capacity. <laughs> the breadbasket of America, hey? Build 20 in Michigan. 
grain farms. Then we want clothes. So, textile mills. We've got 10 in Indiana. Thinking we go for 10 more. And, yeah. A lot of these places you can see have little, very little peasants now. We are starting to use up a lot of our workforce, which is great. God's will. I mean, I don't get how the evangelicals are the socialist party, but okay. Um, Democratic party. That's not something we want either. There's an election in 57 days. Let's have a look. Who's popular? The Republican party, which is the intelligentsia. Well, that's, that's fine. Uh, we don't want the Democrat party to have any... I'll take I'll make his popularity worse. Oh, so we've suddenly So how does this change all the time cuz we were on like 90 odd legitimacy uh, before and now we're on like zero. <laughs> Wonder whether you have to declare wars uh sorry, have to make laws to keep the legitimacy there there. Uh France is going after Buganda. That one. Okay, that's fine. As long as it takes them a while to fight through all these little guys. That's all I care about because this colonization route for them is very thin and very small. They also have over here, which is okay. Ah, we've got another one we can start colonizing over here as well. Into Chokwe. Oh, we are just... We're just rampaging. It's almost hard to watch. Oh, excuse me. I'm just drinking some more lovely coffee. So the colonization of Gabon is complete. It's over here, isn't it? Um, Gabon? Yeah, there we are. Not so. Uh, it's now a state. Let's have a look, see if we can incorporate any more states... We're still on negative bureaucracy, which we have been for so long. Yeah, let's incorporate Gabon. Oh, wait, why can we incorporate these? Have we fully... Uh, Salib as well, South Island and Tahiti. All of those want to be incorporated. Large numbers of... Okay, so... Republican Party won. Um... And, I mean, these are tiny interest groups. They don't really matter. I don't want the evangelicals in there. Quite like the industrialists. Armed forces, no. No, rural folk makes it worse. Trade unions brings it up to 33. Going to accept that. Everyone got a little bit unhappy then. We've got to be careful. We've got to be so careful. I need to find a universal law that people like. <laughs> uh, no. No social security. Poor laws. Southern planters hate it. No, we don't want to do any migration controls. Poor law. Oh, sorry, we just looked at that. Protected speech. Hmm. Yeah, no. Um, no police. Private health insurance. I mean, charity hospitals would be good. But we need the evangelicals or trade unions in the government. I think I should have just really left the government because I think that's just made more people unhappy. Okay, that does make two unhappy groups happy, but... I wish there was stuff you could do. They like they need to work like the estates. Needs to work like the estates in EU4, I would say, where you can like do certain things to make them happy rather than just changing the government and stuff. Because like it doesn't make sense that that they have no clout and no power. Like for example, we just got rid of the trade unions out of the government, but they surely they would understand that they're a tiny party and they have no power. 
So you shouldn't be really upset that they got rid <laughs> that they were rid of. I don't know. I guess that's not really how it works in politics, is it? But oh well. Let's make sure we're colonizing every single place we can. We need to be as powerful and as quick as possible with this. And it looks like Britain hasn't managed to outmuscle us there. Our ability to uh, colonize quickly has really come through in the end there. Getting that technology, the malaria prevention early, has really helped us. Uh, and we're starting to build some more glassworks in South Cameroon, uh, as you can see. So the standard of living of these people should start rising as less and less peasants exist in this region. Uh, we're getting more and more glassworks, like I've said. The, the logging camps are doing fantastically. They've even got cash reserves, so they're doing, making a lot of money. Um, I'm assuming these lands as well, the, the wages will be a lot, a lot cheaper. How much infrastructure are we using then? 31 out of 46. Okay, that's fine. Shift work, conveyors, and telephone. That's fine. Now we've just dipped into the negative there. Interesting. That's most... I think that might be because of the Statue of Liberty. Uh, I'm not too sure. Western New Guinea has just completed. You can see Statue of Liberty going to take a while to build. But when it does, it's 25% uh, migration attraction to New York. Which is great. Oh, come on, please, block off France. That's all I want you to do. Block them. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. How are our radicals doing? They're pretty stable. Loyalists are going down a little bit. We really need to start improving our quality of living of our people. Institutions-wise, I haven't looked at these for a while, but we are maxed out. So, don't worry about that. Uh, education would be a great one to get up. Hmm. Yeah, it would really be a great one. Oh, there's a lot just gone on there. Okay, so the intelligentsia will get happy, but the industrialists will not. I mean, they're both happy. We can balance it out a little bit with that. So we do need more government administrations. Oh, we are building a load of government administrations now. Good. I'm hoping... How much... There's 50 bureaucracy. So we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. So that should be 450. So that should take us positive. But <laughs> you never know. They might not all get filled, etc. Uh, who else can I incorporate now? American Western Australia and Western New Guinea. Did we build a... Did we build a port over here? We did. There's just no one. <laughs> not enough people. There's 27,000 people here. It's not many, is it? <laughs> Only 1,000 peasants because all of them work in one single port. <laughs> What's this then? Sulu and Sulu Capitalist Revolt. Okay, interesting. That does sound like something that would happen in America. Uh, right, 73 million. Fifth worldwide. We are just... We have, we've added about 15 million onto our GDP in the last episode or so. That is redonkulous. And that is fantastic. I also... Yeah, let's start colonizing behind there. That will cut France off anyway. Um, so, we've got three of these. I'm thinking... I do want some of China. But, I mean, the main thing right now is... Making sure we have ownership over all of Africa, pretty much. Um, oh, Europe is starting to fall apart, it looks like. Who are the French fighting now? Ecole. This one. Did you beat you, Uganda? Or did you, did you fight against Uganda or not? They have a truce, but there's nothing there. So I guess, 
I guess someone intervened and stopped the fighting. Ah, keep show. Why do you keep not showing me the colonization? I want to see all this. I want to see who's winning and who's not. How quickly we're colonizing versus how everyone else is doing. There's nowhere else we can establish. No, we're still colonizing in Papua over here, which is great. Uh, there is a decent amount of people actually over here. Buildings-wise, iron mines, rubber plantations like we did. Uh, we've already set them up. Uh, we've built ports over here as well, so they should have market access. Look at that cash coming in now. Wow. 235k from the investment pool. Uh, but yeah, that needs to get used up to pay off our debt. Gold has been discovered in Victoria. Uh, oh, look at look at New Zealand. <laughs> that is a mess. I am sorry, Britain. That is horrifying. <laughs> that is really, really horrible <laughs> to look at. <laughs> I am sorry, Britain. Um, yeah, that's that's not great, is it? Let's have a look at uh, sort of Tonga and uh, Fiji and Samoa over here. Anything interesting to build? No, not really. Uh, and then... Yeah, we'll probably build a few fishing stations, etc. over this region. That seems like the best option. There's not a lot of people that live here. 31,000. Yeah, it's... Rice farms and stuff. Vanuatu over here. Yeah, again, not not got any bonuses either. We've got Kanak. That does have New Caledonian Nickel. I'm thinking we uh, max out those lead mines here. Just to just so that I remember and we take advantage of that while we can. Uh, radicals are increasing again. Cost of uh, standard of living has gone down a little bit. Yeah. How is our migration? That's one thing that I want to have a look at because we should a lot of these places should be receiving a lot of immigrants. Why isn't it saying how many? No migration. Literally no migration at all in a lot of these places. We should have we need a, a migration uh, thingy. Spain? No, I don't think so, Spain. I'm sorry. France has just gone ham for a few... Uh... Oh, wait. It looks like they've been uh, blocked again. They owe an obligation to Akoli. <laughs> France is just literally just face planting at every single place they can right now. Now, who are you going after here? Kong again. You lost against them last time, France. Do you not remember? Let's have a look at our market. Again, clothes. Massive issue. We are starting to build fruit, so we should get fruit. How much fruit does a banana plantation uh, give? Rubber discovered in Ghana. Good. Um, 240 per banana plantation. 270 Well, we're going to have a we're going to have a bit of a surplus of fruit, I'm going to say. That seems like an obscene amount of fruit just for one plantation. I mean, yeah, we're going to we're going to be having a surplus of fruit then, I guess. And it looks like we did build the Statue of Liberty, so that is now ours. Good. Uh, then we got our tooling workshops to make tools cheap again. And we'll build some railway, then rubber plantations, and then more chemical plants. Then, of course, we need more grain. Then it's the textile mills again for the clothes, and that's fine. Yeah, clothes. Yeah, the fruit is going to be... <laughs> that's going to be going down quick. <laughs> that's all I can say. Gold is just depleting everywhere at the minute, which is a bit unfortunate. Um... Yeah, just get the migration attraction. Now, we are in positive bureaucracy for the first time in a while, which is great. Look at that GDP. It is just skyrocketing right now. Our market is huge and brilliant. 
75% of rubber. Yeah, we're making rubber, but not actually using it for anything quite yet. Let's have a look. Check our buildings. This has been a very build-based episode. Go for baking powder, which uses more grain and more sugar to make more groceries. I don't think so right now because we don't have the grain uh, for that. We do have vacuum canning. Uh, we don't have oil for that, so let's not do that. Patent stills. Yeah, that's just to make more liquor. What's going on with my mouse right now? One sec. There. Uh, one sec. Don't quite know what's going on with it. It seems a, like it's stuck on something. Sorry about this, guys. There we are. It was just getting stuck on something. Ah, fine, fine. <laughs> thought it was thought it was dying on me. Um, I have sewing machines, which makes more clothes. Uses a lot less laborers. Um, I don't want to fire a load of people right now, especially we do have a lot of radicals. Lots of rubber to be built. We're going to be... That is a preemptive build, that building up the rubber plantations. Uh, anywhere else that we can establish? No. But we are just... Look at look at the amount of uh, American flags out there. And the, the time it takes compared to anyone else. France's little sliver. It's basically going to be France's Gambia, but in the south of France. <laughs> south of Africa. Because I have no doubt we will cut them off eventually. Um, let's have a look at some of our more diplomatic actions we can take. I think, uh, we'll, we'll improve with, with Russia. Uh, Austria is a big market as well. They're actually very powerful normally in Vicky 3. Rubber Rush again. Which is good. Uh, and we're making rubber without even needing it. Let's keep on going. Yeah, again, we're not doing that. Yeah, again. Again, I'm happy with human labor <laughs> rather than machinery right now. We can afford to cost a little bit extra money, though, can't we? We don't have the coal for that, really. Repeating rifles. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take that tool and steel deficit there. Uh, yeah, we won't have enough qualifications for this. But that would create more services. And what else? What is this? Gas streetlights. That would create more services. And it would actually not cost too much. Public trams would. It would add 400 more transportation. Yeah, we don't have tr enough transportation right now. Rural-wise, yeah, that's all we can do. I'm fine with that. We haven't got fertilizers yet. Oh, this is not soil-enriched farming. I don't know why you never were. That's going to really help. And harvesting tools as well. Uh, yeah, of course, we're going to make all our livestock intensive grazing. And we're also going to have that. Uh, let's go for coal mines. Yeah, no, we're, as I said, we're not going to use the nitroglycerin just yet. Um, although, let's have a look at our explosives. Yeah, we just have a small deficit. So we're not going to use the nitroglycerin just yet. But yeah, we're... Uh, let's have a look at our infamy. We're now reputable again, down to 10. Now, what is the next play that we want to do? What is this? Oh, it's uh, Papua is is uh, deciding that they would like to fight me. I honestly really would like the next play to... Uh, to be against China. <laughs> I want silk. And on top of that, I want 10 million more population. <laughs> 14 million in this region. <laughs> it's obscene. Problem with China is getting into China. You need a border. And Britain has very kindly destroyed one option for our border, which would have been taking Dai Nam. Um, the other one would be Joseon. So, uh, Korea... Yeah, Hanguk we will go for. Uh, yeah, I think that's the play. Uh, let's have a look. they got 10 million population. Yeah, whatever. It's not going to take long. 
to fight these guys. I know it's, it's going to take 20 days to get there, but whatever. The play for power. Have we got an election coming up? No, the petty bourgeois. I mean, I can't take that minus two interest group approval, but... Prince sided with Darfur in the Darfuri and Darfuri military revolt. Oh, well. You can do what you want, France, but you can't get there, so... <laughs> Keep that up, but you can't actually get there. Okay, yeah, we've we've pretty much nearly surrounded France now. We just need to try and make sure that they we take the mo most of this rather than them, which looks like it's going to happen because their colonization takes like five hundred days, and ours takes fifty. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. So a less eventful episode, but more just building up our economy. Uh, for the challenges to come. Look at that, 77 million. If I'm not f mistaken, the start of this or last episode, we're on like 60 million. So we are really skyrocketing our economy right now. Absolutely skyrocketing them. And I do really want to fight China. Problem being, uh, it's going to be tough to get into China. Really tough. Best way would be through Burma, honestly. Got 58 battalions, but I can't imagine that those battalions are very well trained. Let's have a look. Can't really see. Uh, irregular infantry, cannon artillery, and that's it. Yeah, just a regular infantry. So we shouldn't have a too much of a problem with that. Is it does put us a bit in the firing line for the British Raj, who, yeah, we don't really want to mess with too much. Um, I think puppeting Burma would be the way to go. And I'm assuming they... Yeah. They've not got a huge population. Uh, Buildings-wise... Yeah. T. They don't... They doesn't look like they can build silk. They've got opium plantations here as well. Yeah, I, I mean, I think that's the option. I definitely do. And then I think we go after China and... Take a couple of states. I want to be brave with this move against China. I don't want to be weak. Look, like, if we took, like, Fujian, Shaozhou, and Guangdong, that's pretty much more than double that population, guys. That's more than double the people we can force into wage slavery. So, <laughs> oh well. That's the plan, anyway. Right, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.